What's up friends, this is Coach John here at CrossFit Liberate bringing you an at-home workout for Wednesday, May 6th. Today we have Macho Taco. So this is a little interval piece. We're gonna be doing three minute intervals with one minute of rest for five total sets. And once you hit through some line hops and some jumping lunges, you're gonna be working through max rounds and reps of a Macho Man complex with an odd object. So for today, you're gonna be tracking your rounds and reps of just the Macho Man complex for all five sets. You are rewarded for consistency today because your score is gonna be the lowest number of rounds and reps across those five sets. All right, so let's get warmed up for Macho Taco today. We're gonna to be doing a two-part warm-up. First things first, three sets, 30 seconds of either single unders if you have a rope, or line hops, 30 seconds of a Samson stretch, making sure to really open up the front side of that body and lean away from that front leg. And then 30 seconds of really nice, slow and controlled air squats, keeping that chest up, sending the hips back and down, pushing those knees out. Then we're gonna jump into an odd object warm up. We're gonna take that odd object, we'll hit 10 deadlifts. Ten hang clean and strict press. Ten front squats. And then ten step back lunges. All right, so we have some quick and spicy intervals today where the hops and lunges serve as a buy-in for the scored portion of the workout. We have five rounds of a three-minute AMRAP where we're trying to hit as many rounds and reps as possible of the odd object Macho Man. So each round starts with 60 double unders, 20 jumping lunges, and then we're gonna work through those max rounds of odd object Macho Man. Each round of odd object Macho Man is three power cleans, three front squats, and three shoulder to overhead. And then we get one minute of rest between the rounds. So you don't need to return to the line hops and jump, jump lunges once you're worked through them. Just continue working through Macho Man complexes until the three minutes is up. Choose a weight here that you're capable of completing somewhere in the range of four to five rounds of this complex unbroken when fresh. You can get the weights overhead however you like to for the shoulder to overhead, meaning you can push press or push jerk this weight. So for the line hops here today, choose a rep number or variation that allows you to clear this station in under a minute. Today you get to count each jump on the line hops as a rep. If you have a jump rope, this would be a great day to use it and hit either 60 double unders or 90 single unders. For the jumping lunges today, let's alternate legs every rep for a total of 10 reps per side. The back knee should touch the ground at the bottom of each rep, and you wanna to jump to a full lower body extension between the lunges. And as always, further movement substitutions and descriptions are in the video description below. So today, let's think about getting straight up and down. And all these movements are rewarded for moving straight up and down. Any movement forward or backward is wasted energy. On the line hops, focus on keeping the body in a straight line during the jump. It's common here to pike forward with the feet or kick back, which makes our movement less efficient. Now, we're used to moving forward in a walking lunge, but these jump lunges are designed to be vertical. So to stay in one place, think about creating footprints on the ground that you can target with the feet on each rep. And then, on the odd object movements, we wanna keep the weight balanced over the middle of the body. Make sure the weight is equally balanced between the front of the foot and the back of the foot for the cleans, squats, and jerks. All right, so strategy today for Macho Taco. We get only one minute of rest for all of these intervals. So all out sprints are probably not gonna be sustainable. What I want you to think about is to move with some purpose so that you can move consistently across all of these three minute AMRAPs. So we kinda wanna look at round one as a feeling out round, okay? Start a little bit slower on round one and then see if you can maintain that pace across all five sets here. So with the Odd Object Macho Man, the best place to rest is gonna be after that second power clean. 
Once you hit that third power clean, we want to try to hold on to this object for our front squats and our push jerks and really push hard on those to be able to go unbroken. All right, y'all, let's get after it. Make sure you post those scores into SugarWad so you can track your fitness. And we cannot wait to see you guys back in the gym really soon.